Keelan, great to see you. How are you? Very well, thank you. All good. Good. Well, we're just catching up, as you know, prior to uh, the weekend. Um, some darts at last. Um, how are things going in your world? Um, I've just chatting to the other guys that are going on, um, primarily our, um, for those that don't know, our scholarship winners from 2019, which is an opportunity for 16 plus year olds uh, to go on development tour, um, courtesy of the PDPA and a scholarship. Um, so it eases the pressure a little bit on finance, but however, um, Keelan, you've done this once before. Yeah, I've, um, I've won the scholarship the last three years in a row, actually. Wow. Since I was playing, then um, was eligible to enough to play on the for my second year. But um, yeah, it's been a big help, obviously. Thank you to the JDC for giving, obviously, players like me the opportunities when I was still able to play in them. But um, yeah, it's been really good winning that. Right. So um, a message there to any um, up and coming youngsters, <laughs> perhaps, you know, 12, 13, 14s, looking at um, thinking about doing the JDC tour, a little bit more to it than just winning a few bob on a Saturday afternoon. Yeah, definitely. Yeah, there is. And has it, it, it changed your attitude as well as your game? Is it help you, you know, does it, because obviously you're, you're mixing around with some great players. Yeah. I mean, you know, Dimitri Vandenberg yeah. and all these sort of people. Yeah. Yeah. Is that a help or is it a kind of, you know, how um, are you going to compete against these guys? I think, first of all, when I started playing with them, so it was like, wow, like, that's who they are. Like, you see them on telly, like, most weeks. And mm. to be honest, when I first started to, like, play in them, I realised I'm just as good as them and I can... I could beat these, maybe not straight away, but I could still go on and beat them and do well against them, give them a match, first of all. Yeah. And then you start taking more legs each time you play them. And um, yeah, no, it was good. I, I do recall actually standing and watching you play, I think it was 2018 or maybe 2019, I forget. Um, I think it was uh, against Dimitri and I think you drew him twice yeah. in the same day or the same weekend. I can't remember what happened. <laughs> yeah, I played um, Dimitri in my first ever World Youth Championship in my group. That was and it. I um, I lost five one, but it was that didn't really tell like the whole game. It was a lot yeah. closer than that, and um, also he went on to win it, which um, was a bit gutting for me, obviously because I was quite close. But I was happy he went on to win it. Yeah. And then last year I played Luke Humphreys in the group stage, and he went on to win it. <laughs> so um, it's your yeah, turn it's now. <laughs> well, I hope so. Yeah, who knows? That's it. Fingers crossed. But you must be putting a lot of effort in because you, you are pretty steady. I mean, you're 11th in the development. I know we've only had four events, but you're still top top 32. Um, 11th with uh, 750, I think you got in the bag. But you yeah. do this regularly, mate. You're, so this development tour is really working for you? Yeah, the development tour, it's um, it's where I seem to play my best shots, where I like I did in the JDC. I um, obviously pre playing the JDC helped me play, get more comfortable on the development tour as well. Because when they introduced the two in one day structure, that was um, great prep as well so yeah. to go on and compete in the development tour as well. Right, because that was a step that we, we, we made, um, you know, a year or so ago. And, and, and it was a, it, it, it's a test because there's obviously a lot of youngsters there that may struggle to, you know, cope with that two, two events. It's a longish day, but it's great preparation if you are going to go on to um, development tour, challenge tours, that kind of thing in the future. Mm. Um, and, and to be honest, the rewards are there. So it's going to be tough, isn't it, I guess? Yeah, the rewards are definitely there. Like I say, you can, um, they're hard days, like the two events in one day, but if you can do well and pick up enough points and money, the rewards you get are, are brilliant, especially yeah. from the JDC and the development tour. Like say, picking up the scholarships and obviously, like you say, some money and it's brilliant for the younger kids, obviously going on to play on the development tour. Yeah, yeah. well, that's that's the idea. We want to, you know, we want to do a, the best opportunity we possibly can. And like I've said before, the, the people behind me, we can't do it all on our own. So thanks to them. And the, it's a team effort, really, isn't it? You know, um, but what about um, Keelan himself? Everything OK with you? Are you sort of working hard, practicing hard, colleging? I don't know. What, what, what are you up to? I mean, obviously, it's not been that much happening, but how have you coped over the last six, seven months? Yeah, obviously, I've been practicing very hard, but I was very fortunate enough to play in the Modus Live League. with um, well, some You're of the 18 and above 18, aren't you? Some right. of the best non scorecard holders in the world and playing them most weeks was uh, really enjoyable and I'm really grateful for the opportunity for obviously Modus and obviously Red Dragon making it possible. Yeah, of course, because James missed out on that because he's only 17, look, so yeah. I remember. Yeah. Right, so yet again, it's, it's another step. Another opportunity, more sharpness, more practice, more focus. So you have had something to focus on over those quiet periods. Yeah, it's um, first of all, I find it quite difficult, obviously, adapting from playing in venues in, obviously, like say crowds and things to playing at home from my bedroom. <laughs> it's um, yeah, but no, like I say, I was um, I'm really grateful to have the opportunity. Obviously, a lot of players didn't have it, 
and I was playing competitive darts week in, week out, most days of the week. And yeah. You know, yeah. Something to keep your mind focused and obviously they say keep you sharp as well. So you didn't have mum and dad in the back going, yeah. <laughs> no, no, Stand up if you love the dance. <laughs> Definitely not, no. <laughs> so um, you, you, you um, finding life okay at the minute? So right this moment, we're free of lockdown. Are you, are you just getting into practice? Any, are there any tournaments going on around you? No, no, no tournaments uh, at all. Um, I've been going out practicing different clubs and places where I used to go see before lockdown. But um, other than that, no, it's just been practicing at home. And I played a few online games against friends, but obviously, like yeah. I say, the most competition was from the Modus League. And the other thing as well, I mean, I know you're, you're very, a very focused um, dart player, but when you do get to these events, development tours, you know, there's a lot of people you know, there's a lot of friends, um, people you've competed against for many years now. I mean, we've got yourself, there's James, we've got, JDC champions, we've got Rodriguez, v v v Michael Verberg, and people like that. You're all in the same room, um, yeah. but I guess once you get past that barrier, it's game on. <laughs> yeah, when you're uh, when you're in a match, because like, you have the JDC tour as well. When you're playing development tour, your mind's just on it. You're not really bothered about your friends, and you just yeah. want to go to a big smash room. Yeah, good. <laughs> That's what we like. <laughs> um, so and, and um, World Youth After. So that's uh, something you've obviously done before, um, getting your eyes on. I mean, some rewards there, because I think if you play in, in that tournament and get into the finals, you end up playing, I don't know, do you play in the World Championships or something? Or Grand Slam? Grand Slam, I think it is. Yeah, I think so. I'm not sure, but I think so, yeah. Just mm. for making the final. And development yeah. tour, top two, you get a tour card for a couple of years, don't you? Yeah, brilliant. That's um, something to uh, work hard for. And I'll say the opportunities and rewards are there again if you work hard and then... Uh, You'll get them hope, yeah. one day. Now then, Plymouth to Barnsley, bit of a journey. So, do you do you break it up, or are you going to come stop somewhere, or what? What, what do you do? We um we actually moved to Cornwall last year, so we're even further down now. It's even worse, I know. But I still support my local team, Plymouth. Yes, we've gathered that. <laughs> but, so, um, right, so, private jet. What do you do? <laughs> we um. Well, we're doing a six-hour drive up right. on Thursday because we play Friday. Um, obviously, we'll probably stop off on the way up. But, um, yeah, just get there, six-hour drive, and what can we do? Are you driving now? Because, obviously, you're old enough. I'm not driving just yet, but I'm uh, in the process of it, yeah. Yeah, because, I mean, a lot of our players that are uh, sort of 16, 17, trying to learn to drive, obviously, you couldn't do any learn to driving for what probably missed six months of that, haven't we, with the... the... Yeah situation yeah. at the minute um uh, keelan i tell you what it's been absolutely brilliant to see you because we haven't seen you for a long time in you know sort of in person um and um you know you speak so highly of, of darts and and the sport and the jdc and the pdc sort of program um which is which is nice to see we wish you all the best for the weekend thank you for for joining us i appreciate it's um a busy time for you now um and um good luck thank you very much thank you Magic. Nice to see you. Take care. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Bye.